Good morning, folks. How you all doing? Whatever part of the day you're watching this. This is the 19th of June, 2017. The day after Father's Day. Uh, me and my loving wife went up to my uh, number one son's uh, girlfriend, or as I call it, the soulmate's family, for a meal. And they had a fine, fantastic uh, meal there. And uh, we all enjoyed it. Enjoyed each other's company. And this is what the daughter, which is my, as I say, my son, number one son's soulmate, and my son got me for Father's Day. Hey, doing, folks? It's Ron. Got a hot day here today outside. It's in the low 90s. Hot, hot day, and I've been working in the yard, and it's beer time. Time for a cold beer. First, some cold water. Wife had put a bunch in the refrigerator and uh, I'll in bed. Oh. Oh, that's good. Uh, I took the opportunity in the morning when it's cooler to work in the yard. Did a bunch of stuff, got a lot of stuff out of the way. Uh, now that it's a little past high noon and the sun is at its hottest, I will do a beer review because I want a beer. Uh, this is a Von Trapp Brewing in Brewing in Beer Hall. Uh, one, I got an address on here. Von Trapp Brewing up there in uh, Vermont, Stowe, Vermont. It's uh, 1333 Loose Hill Road, Stowe, Vermont. Again, 1333 Loose Hill Road, Stowe, Vermont. Uh, if you want to call, find out their hours, uh, tours, or anything or directions, 802-253-5750. Again, 802-253-5750. That's the phone number for uh, Von Trapp Brewing. Uh, it is hot here today. Uh, I've been working the yard. The reason for the long sleeves is um, I've been in all the shrubs and the bushes and so forth and there's, uh, you know, stinging nettles and all kinds of uh, things with thorns on them. But anyway, no further ado, let me do this beer review. i got a project coming up. It's uh, Saving My Canoe. Uh, it'll probably be at the end of this video. You'll see a shot uh, video on it take up before I start the project of trying to Get at that canoe. Uh, one of my sons, number two, son, he does this kind of stuff, the number two son. He, he used it last and it's it's buried. But anyways, we got a beer here for you and uh, alright, alright, there's a alright. I get out of this. <laughs> Who's the genius that puts these in these bags? I know I have a hard time. This is the beer. Gone trap. Thank you. It's a family, Van Trapp family. And uh, I say, they're up in Stowe, Vermont. This is a Golden Hells. 4.9 ABV with 20 international bidder units. It's not like something I would like. It's a lager. That's a lager. And I'm going to try to keep these straight. I always tend to put them sideways. I don't know why. I got a slant on life, I guess. Uh, but anyways, uh, I got to keep track of my time, too. I got to clock here now and people will watch me so I gotta go uh, no more than uh, try to stay at nine minutes but anyways uh, it's 4.9 ABV 20 international better units uh, let's see it's floral hops and the aroma is a bread malt on it. it's a balanced pilsner malt uh, and the hops are tatanga and pearl I don't know if tatanga would German, part of the noble hops, I don't know, but uh, the Tanga hops, maybe somebody out there would know and put down in the comments below. And Pearl hops, the master brewer at this brewery is JP Williams. Again, JP Williams is the master brewer. Uh, let's see if we got any more information on that. The Hells, the Golden Hells, the Hells is a German word, H E L L E S. And it means bright. Just, it means bright. H-E-L-L, -L, golden. 
gold. Helgels, Helgels means bright in German. Uh, again, it's a floral hop aroma to this, and I'm not going to kill much time. I'm going to drink this now in uh, a glass. Uh, nice. One of the glasses, my uh, loving number one son and his sweetheart. Got me a nice basket gift of beer and glasses and snacks. This is from the Rockingham Brewery. Up there, I guess. Uh, Rockingham County in Derry, New Hampshire. Rockingham Brewery in Derry, New Hampshire. All right, no further ado. Uh, uh, show the price. Let me get the camera to adjust. I adjust it just as I took it away. <laughs> yeah. And they print these up. Print up these caps. I'll well show them. Trap family. I don't know if it's the full name is Von Trap family, but the uh, Trap family. I guess it's Von Trap. Uh, look at the old, the old style openers for the can, and then the bottle end. This is very popular. These church keys years ago, before they had flip tops and kind you can uh, take off. I don't see much, but anyways, much water vapor, because I'm talking too much. Oh, that's a good looking beer. Look at that beer. Oh, smell the aroma of the floral hops from here. Oh, that's a good smelling lager. Mmm, I know it's going to be crisp going down my throat, over my tongue. All those bubbles are the same size. It's starting to break up as you go to the top, changing size, getting bigger. All right, with that said, I'll put this aside. Yeah. All right, aside, and I got these. What the heck? Poppables. I love my wife. Picks up snacks. I won't be... White cheddar, per perfectly poppable crispy potato bites. I guess they have potatoes. Poppable white cheddar, but yeah, it looks like a dark cheddar in there. Lays, well, lays are good. So whatever, whatever the hell poppable is are. Perfectly poppable crispy potato bites. Well, but anyway, those are, they sound good, sound different. I want to show you this. We got time. Has not run down yet. This is one of my old cans. I found this right next to my workbench. It was a full six pack. You know? But when you got a number of kids and uh, they go venturing, uh, things disappear. <laughs> I guess. 4077 Mash Beer, premium quality. I gotta take these off to read. The trademark 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. Uh, see if we can find the name of the brewery on this. Uh, James Holly Company, Fort Wayne, Indiana. James Holly Company, Fort Wayne, Indiana. So I'm guessing this is from the movie MASH. Remember there was a movie MASH years ago about the Korean War? The movie uh, called Mash from the Korean War. Well, with that said, the beer is pretty well dissipated down the head, and uh, there it is. It's got that true, I guess, the malt, you smell the flow of hops. So this is a little bit different than a lager, the true, I mean, it's a lager, but I'm smelling those full hops. And it wasn't that high. The IBUs were 20. But uh, the Von Trapp family, which is still in the Vermont area, still up, they own the brewery, uh, there was a film. I don't, I should have did some due diligence on the name of the movie. But the movie, the song, The Hills Were Alive, uh, the actress, well known, she got shot here, it was shot here. I think Julie Andrews, I think, maybe her name is shot here. But there was a, 
a film. And they're in the beautiful scenery. So I never saw the, the movie. I've seen parts of it. But the Von Trapp family, now I'm just trying to make a point. This isn't anything factual by me. Uh, but I mean, I'm just trying to make a point. Is that they said they were uh, the reason behind uh, that film footage of somewhat of the movie. Uh, again, I'm not trying to start a rumor or just the point I'm making and they had said that. Well, with that said, uh, it, it's, it, the aroma is typical lager and that's going to feel good. I can't wait. Yeah. A bit, a bit of the hop flavoring. Uh, I don't know if you had the per pearl and tatang hops. Pearl hops and that and tatang, tatanga, tatango hops are in here. And I don't really know that much about hops. I know Cascade uh, gives you that kind of a kind of at times. Mine's in different levels. Gives you the grapefruit uh, aroma and flavoring. Most of the flavoring uh, in some of my uh, uh, other hops that uh, I'm not that familiar with hops, so I won't go any further because I don't want to be saying the wrong thing. But uh, this is a good flavor beer. It's very good. So I don't want to stay in front of this camera for too long because uh, I want to do another shoot of a comparison on beers. Mmm. Mm. Well, with that said, I'm uh, hoping that at the end of this shoot, we'll see a segment of a video uh, telling how I'm going to get my, uh, find my canoe. And there's the beer. Have a good day, folks. Ciao.